On the SketchUp side, when you export a model from SketchUp, the best sort of workflow we found is when you go to export 3D model, there's two schools of thought. One is we found that 3DS usually works the best because it carries the material textures and it exports them if we need them. And so when I click on options here, we usually either go by layer or by material. By layer, if you're doing color by layer, then by layer is the best way to go. That's how one of my colleagues religiously models and it actually works really well. It does take a little bit of getting used to modeling color by layer, but other people are very diligent about putting materials on their geometry regardless of the layer so then we can go by material. So you kind of have to look at the model, but usually it'll fall into one of these two categories. If you do a single object, obviously you're going to get one object with everything on it. That could actually work sometimes if you have, let's say, set pieces of geometry that you know are not going to change. So for instance, if I have a table and a set of chairs, right? And those are basically just going to be entourage in my model. And they have multiple materials, but I don't want to go through the process of sort of organizing and dealing with those extra pieces. I can export all of those pieces together as one single object and when they come into Max they'll have a multi sub object material that will then basically be assigned correctly each color to where it goes and so we can test that out as well and then basically what you want to do then if you select geometry you can either say export only current selection or not you don't really ever want two-sided geometry because Max will actually create duplicate faces for Max to create basically two front sides of that polygon, which we don't want duplicate geometry ever, so that's really not useful all that much. We don't want standalone edges unless you want them as line work, which again, it could be a feature or not. If I export a model with standalone edges, every single outline in this model would come in as a line, but could be helpful or not again, right? Let's say for instance, you have a grid ceiling and you want joints and you have those lines drawn in SketchUp, you could actually export that ceiling and export the edges and take those edges and just make them renderable splines and make them geometry you can render, right? It, it could come into play. Export texture maps, potentially, yes. You have two options here and they're preserving texture coordinates or welding vertices. It's too bad you can't do both, but if you do preserving texture coordinates, anything that you mapped in SketchUp will come in with the right UVW scale. So when you render it, that map will look exactly the way it did in SketchUp. Now, because welded vertices are not checked, any geometry that you have that, say, has some curvature to it, those vertex points that are touching each other, because they're not welded, your geometry is going to be segmented in max. And you actually have to weld those vertex points yourself to get a smooth result so we can test that too cameras maybe maybe not model units typically inches so let's do this so everybody can understand exactly what we're talking about i'm just going to do a quick new model here i'm going to delete her and i'm going to keep this very very simple i'm going to do a quick box what we're going to do is we're going to take a materials we're going to do colors and i'm just going to paint the top red I'll paint, let's say, one side yellow. I'm going to paint white side green. I guess we can leave the other ones white, right? So we have one object, multiple materials, and that's one test. The other test that we're going to do is we are going to do a circle with, let's say, 48 segments. Boom, boom. And we're just going to extrude that. And then you can see how this reads smooth here, right? You guys will see what it looks like in Max. So file, export, 3D model, I'll just save it on that Dropbox folder. Uh-huh, 06, link, and we'll just call this 3DS, we'll just call this test, export. Options, so we're going to go with, let's go with a single object so you guys can see the multi-sub object. That's fine, that's fine. And right, let's export the edges so you guys can see the edges. Uh, export texture maps, and we'll leave it like this. Generate, we don't need cameras and in inches. Okay, export. Done. So that's our text export. So I'm going to open up a new instance of Max. All right, so let me maximize my viewport. Okay, let's maximize. We're good to go. So I'm going to go file, import. We'll navigate to our Dropbox. 
workshops. Oh, six link test export. Bring it in. Merge objects. Sure. Convert units. Fine. All right.